When it's hot outside, it's fun to take your furry friends to cool off in a pond or a river. But the dip in the water turned deadly for several dogs in Georgia and North Carolina this summer. The suspected cause? Blue-green algae blooms in the water. In our 13 WMAZ poll, we want to know where you are least likely to swim. You can vote on our app or online at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Chelsea Bimefor talked with a veterinarian today to explain how to keep your dog safe. And Chelsea joins us live near the Okamogi River. Yeah, Frank and Lori, it's a beautiful day out to bring your dog for a swim on the lake or a river here, like along the Oak Mulgee. But this hot weather is might it's what might be causing the perfect storm of ingredients to form blue algae or blue green algae, excuse me. And it's what's keeping some dog owners away from the water. This is Maverick. He's almost 10 weeks old. Jackson Griner is taking care of his new best friend. Maverick, sit. Good boy. Lay down. A playful pup who's young and healthy. Loves, you know, going around and exploring new things and going on different adventures. But right now, most of those adventures are inside because even though it's hot. You know, I want him to be able to go swim in and go play wherever he wants to and I don't want him to be hurt by any sort of algae. This summer, dog deaths possibly linked to blue-green algae have been reported in Georgia and North Carolina. But actually, it's a bacteria. It's, it's called cyanobacteria. Dr. Bernard Hodges is a Central Georgia vet who says if your dog swallows that algae, it could be fatal. I mean, and they could be dead in a matter of 30 minutes, so it's a really fast-acting toxin. Hodges says blue-green algae is formed when it's really hot outside and there's a lot of nutrients in a body of water. If you run across water that look like it has this floating green stuff, almost like pea soup, Stay away. If your dog does ingest a toxic batch, Hodges says they may suffer from vomiting, seizures, and diarrhea. Most are probably not toxic, but you know who wants to take the chance over their dog being in that one? So if you see it that way, stay away. So for now, Jackson and Maverick are heeding Dr. Hodges' advice, staying out of murky waters and keeping each other company. I want to make sure that you know he's as safe and as healthy as possible while he's young, so that as he grows up, he's able to you know be safe long term. Now, Hodges says if you think your dog has swallowed any of the blue-green algae or is suffering from any of the symptoms, of course, just try to get them to the vet as soon as possible. Reporting live in Macon, Chelsea Bynford, 13 WMAZ News.